hello and welcome to solution code in this video we'll see about the database in codeigniter how to connect to a database in codeigniter how to perform the queries in codeigniter and fetch the data dynamically in the previous video we have created a user uh, controller user detail controller and which loads the data from the user model which we have defined in a static manner and this data what we get from the model is being shown in the view so in this video we'll see how to do this from the database and for that we need to create a database first so let's go into phpMyAdmin and uh, create a database codeigniter underscore dot for tutorials and in this I would create a user accounts or user tables which which has three fields the user ID which we have here this would be the ID and it would be an auto incremented primary key another thing will be the username which would be a where care of say 50 characters and another thing would be my company company and this would be another where care of 50 characters limit and let's save it so I have my users table with me let's insert the values from here itself and the username is Akshay from Solution Cone. Another, let's say ABC from XYZ dot com, and let's save this two results in our database so the results have been stored in the database now I have to fetch that result in this table which is our view okay so this is our model and we have to fetch the data here so first we need to connect to this database so how to connect to the database in codeigniter it's quite simple and way too easy so first of all you need to go to the config folder and inside the application folder and in that you would see a database.php file so here you need to scroll down to the settings area and here uh, is the main thing you have to do is first thing what you have to set is the host name currently I am on my local system so my host name is localhost if you have any other link or any IP address you can mention in the host name here or otherwise it would be localhost username as I am using XAMPP and I have not yet changed any default settings so my username is root password is blank and my database name is currently I have created just now a database which is named CI underscore dirt and the DB drivers is my SQLI if you are using some another uh, drivers you can specify the names there as they have mentioned here if you are using iBase MS SQL my SQL my SQLI or PDO, Postgrade, SQLite, you can just specify the name here and it would understand what drivers to use. Okay, and other thing you can just leave it as it is. And currently you just focus on this four parameters. Now you have all the settings with you and now I have to perform uh, the database connection here so to perform database connection I will again uh, do dollar this load database 
and the database would be available to me like dollar this db so this is the way to access it let's run it and oops i just oh, ad load it must not give me any errors that means i am correct okay now if i wanna fire a query so i will just write query and here my query would be like select star from my table name which is user i guess user and let's store it in a variable query and instead of returning the static array you can also return the array which we have fetched currently the dollar query if you print out dollar query it's not the array what you are looking for it's a object so let's first uh, convert it into an array so query result underscore array is a function in coding native to convert the query object to an array now if you oh, okay re reload your page you would see a normal array this is not looking much explanative so let's do one thing let's format it with our pre tag now it's much formatted and we have two users with the username Akshay and with the username ABC now what we have to do is we have to fetch this you two in which we have to fetch the information here in a table so how to do that first of all we need to return an array from here written dollar query of result underscore array and just I'm commenting it so this array would be fetched here in the users array and in the view I'm going to use it so for using it I would do let's do a for each for each user array now I'm just removing it for now as a value I would do echo my TR each entry would be in a separate row and here I would have my TD which is my data of each users I have to print their instead of serial number I'm going to print their ID user ID so in my dollar value I would be getting if you have any confusion in it let's echo pre tag to just format it and see what we get in our dollar value line number 15 what is the issue man unexpected syntax close 
line number okay in user model we have missed our semicolon so we are getting an error undefined okay so basically we need to print it because it's an array and not a string so here is an array and this is the value dollar value so if you wanna now what I'll do is echo tr and in that row I have three TDs and in each of them I would be getting first value as ID okay second value as username and let's print the third name as company <coughs> just comment this just reload it so this is the way you get the data so this table is now dynamic if I just remove this value <coughs> you can see that my result has been changed if I just change the name okay you would see that the value has been changed so now the view is dynamic and it has been connected to our database using this model we have fetched our result array you can also if you want to use it in an object you can just written dollar uh, dollar query result and in your views you can access them by ID user name and by company if you're more comfortable with that you can do that also so thank you for watching guys hope this video was helpful if you don't understand any uh, of the points mentioned in this video please do comment below and let me know so that I can uh, explain you that point so it's clear and I hope this video was helpful thank you